Hey guys, are you an audio head, an audiophile? Maybe you want some treble with your bass, maybe you want a little bass with your treble. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Beamer Tech Premium Audio Amplifier. Plus, if you want it, you can also learn how to install the ASD Bypass. See you in a bit. Hey Beamer Tech crew, I got another video for you guys. I will be showing you how to install a Beamer Tech audio amplifier. If you happen to opt for the ASD Delete, I'm going to show you that as well. For those of you who are wondering, ASD stands for Active Sound Design, and its role is to generate the engine sound and play it through the speakers. If we change the factory amplifier to our more powerful amplifier, we will also amplify the engine sound, which might become too loud. That's why we recommend the ASD deactivation harness and that is if your car has an ASD. Now let's get started. Here are some tools that you'll need. And if you happen to need some trim tools, Beamer Tech makes some awesome ones. Head over to our website where you can pick them up there. Or you could come by our Orlando showroom here in Florida and someone can help you out. It's important to remember before working on any electrical components on your vehicle, you need to remove the negative terminal on your battery. If you do not have a 10 millimeter deep socket, you can grab a 10 millimeter box end wrench to loosen the bolt or an adjustable crescent wrench. All you need to do is simply loosen it enough to wiggle it off its terminal. With power disconnected from your vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to tie a rag onto your trunk latch. That is unless you wanna climb through your back seat to reconnect that battery terminal to open up the trunk again. So we're going to get started by removing this panel and the storage compartment underneath. So one thing to keep in mind guys, when you're using any kind of removal tools to take out those panel clips, make sure that you're going just underneath the head of the clip first and then after that going underneath the jacket of the head. There's two parts. We'll start by prying this clip out first, then removing the storage bin. To make things easier later on, we're going to put this back seat down. And here are four more clips to remove. Being mindful of the rubber seal on the plastic trim, we're going to pull this out. And then off to the side, let's remove this plastic cover. And then just above that, let's remove these two clips. And some people may not see it, but there's a clip over here too. Then off to the back, we're going to remove this plastic cover. Then grabbing your T25 Torx head, we'll remove this Torx bolt as well. And then just above that is another clip we're going to remove. Off to the side, there is a 12 volt plug that we have to remove. If you wiggle it from left to right while pulling out, it should pop out easily. Carefully utilizing the spry tool, we're going to want to remove this panel out from underneath this rubber trim. Be sure to take your time on removing this panel because it can be a little finicky. Now we'll grab a 10 millimeter socket tool to remove this 10 millimeter nut. And if you don't have a socket tool, you can use an open-ended crescent wrench or an adjustable crescent wrench. And 
and then easily pull up on the tray. We'll set that off to the side and we'll move on to the next 10 millimeter nut. Using a little elbow grease, all you have to do is slide the bracket forward to release it. Now we're going to pull this amp out of the amp well and grab an 8mm socket wrench to loosen up the bolt. Once you take the nut off, you'll be able to flip the bracket over and slide the amp off going away from the V. Now let's do the same with the ASD. Now let's remove the harness. First you must push down on the tab and then push against the slider over top of the tab. It will be the same with the ASD harness. Now let's connect the Beamer Tech harness to the Beamer Tech amp. We'll start with the power and the ground. And the Beamer Tech provided L bracket for the amp attaches simply enough with the three millimeter Allen screws that they provide in the package. Now with the last wires on the harness, they connect pretty easily. There's only one spot that each connector can slip into, so you shouldn't have a problem here. All you have to remember is that the lock tabs face down. Something I'd like to mention is that the amp comes pre-tuned from the factory, but if you'd like, you can install the USB cable that it comes with in order to get it tuned later on. And just like the factory bracket, the amp will slide into place. As you can see here, I'm making sure that the L bracket is flush so the bolt goes in smoothly. And now we'll tighten the bolt. And now we'll connect the Beamer Tech harness to the factory harness. Prior to locking the harnesses together, you want to be sure that the pins are matching perfectly. You don't want to bend any of the pins and have to get the harness replaced. Lock it in just like the factory harness. In order to remove the ASD harness, it's the same as the amp harness. Turning the harness to the side, we'll want to remove the wire housings for both gray and black. But don't freak out, it's really simple. Just take a very small screwdriver, pry on the side, and it should slide right out. That was harmless. The reason why we're removing these is so we can swap the actual housings between Beamer Tech's wiring harness and the factory wiring harness. Let's set the factory housing off to the side and we'll do the same with Beamer Tech's wiring harness. Now that we have the last one out, we can take the Beamer Tech wiring harness housing and slide in the wires from the factory wiring harness. Simply slide them in and you'll hear a click. And then we'll do the same on the other housing. Man, I just love it when companies can make products that fit together perfectly. You don't have to worry about having to make sure you have to modify something or start cutting something out. 
It's just great when you make something right. Now we can connect the ASD bypass into the factory ASD. Lock it in place. And then connect the jumper to the factory harness. Lock it in place, and now all the connections are solid. Let's place this amp back into the amp well, making sure that the grooves slide in properly. It should lock into place pretty easily. Now we'll tighten her back down again with the 10 millimeter nuts that we set aside. Let's go ahead and tuck those cables off to the side. Then grab the storage shelf and put that back in. Now we'll put the trunk lining back in, making sure that the 12 volt power supply is pulled through. Work the panel back in carefully, making sure that it goes underneath the rubber lining. Grab your 12 volt outlet and plug it back in and it should snap into place. When putting the anchor point back into the trunk, if it doesn't go in smoothly, you may have to check that the liner is lined up properly. Let's tighten that Torx bolt. Now that it's secure, we can put the plastic cover back on and move on to all the plastic clips. Now slide this plastic trim back where it was before and put the clips back into place. You want to make sure that the rubber weather stripping is tucked over top of it. Let's put the storage bins back in place and fasten it accordingly. Put the cover back on and we're almost there. Uncover your trunk latch. Reconnect your battery. Cover it back up. And now you're all done. Now let's go jam out to some good music. Once again, guys, my name is Chaz. I really appreciate you for taking your time to watch. If you've got any questions, just let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest videos from here at the shop. See you next time.